In today's Monday makeup lesson, I want to show you how to create this super easy eye makeup look. I know I say that all the time, but this one is truly super easy. This is perfect for beginners or people who have never attempted eyeshadow before or someone who is maybe restarting their makeup journey. So if that is you, then keep on watching. Or if it's someone that you know, maybe send them the link so they can give it a try. Now, if you're new to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you so much and welcome back. Now let's get started with this look. So the shadows that we're using for this look can actually be swapped out for your face products, just in case you've accidentally forgotten your eyeshadows. So the first shadow is a matte shade, and this can be swapped out for your bronzer or your contour. If you wanna create more of a cooler tone, use your contour. If you wanna create more of a warmer one, Use your bronzer. This eyeshadow is at least one shade darker than my skin tone and has more of a neutral tone. So it's gonna add some depth and some contour to my eye shape. The second eyeshadow is a shimmer. So this is at least one shade lighter than my skin tone and it has more of like a peachy sort of mauvey rosy tone. You can swap this out for your face highlight as well. Provided it works for your skin tone, it's probably gonna work for your eyes as well. So make sure to customize this to work for you. You don't have to follow me exactly. Swap out the shades to make sure that it works with the depth and the tone of your skin. So once you have your two eyeshadows, you can then just grab two brushes, so a flat and a blender. You can actually swap out the flat brush for your fingertips if you prefer, but you will need a blending brush. So the very first step, as always, is to apply an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is very important, especially if you are using face products on your eyes. It will actually protect your eye creating a barrier between your skin and the makeup that you're applying, as well as giving the eyeshadows something to hold on to so they're going to last longer. And as this is slightly tinted, it's gonna create a blank canvas for us to work on. So the first shadow that we're gonna take is our matte shade. Again, use your bronzer or your contour if you prefer. And you're gonna take your favorite blending brush. So one thing that I like to do is I like to keep my eyes open and I work into the crease of the eye. So the crease of the eye is where your eyelid creases into your eye shape. And it's anything above this point, blending upwards towards the brows. Now I like to keep my eyes open because this creates a really good shape for me. I can see the area that I want to apply the shadow and I'm doing little kind of soft movements across. Once I've applied enough, I like to kind of slowly close my eyes and work deeper into the crease and then open my eyes up again to keep blending. Now the trick to only using one eyeshadow is to make sure you're very slowly building this up. You don't want to apply a lot of shadow to begin with because we're not gonna get that soft fade that we'd get from applying other tones and other eyeshadows. It's all about slowly building up the shape. So a little goes a long way to start with. As you can see, we're starting to create a beautiful fade that has a lot of depth right at the crease line mostly on the outer edge, and then very softly kind of fades upwards, kind of like smoke. You know how smoke is like darker right at the base of the candle? It kind of disperses outwards. That's basically what we want to create here. Now, if we compare the before and the after, you can see the shape that we're creating. We're kind of contouring the eye shape, but working with the natural shape of the eye. Now, of course, you can manipulate this and you can adjust this to create a very different eye shape. But for a very simple look, I like to pretty much just match what I have and define it just a little bit more. Moving on to our next eyeshadow and our final eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this with a flat brush. Now, if you really want that metallic to shine, you can spritz your brush with a little bit of setting spray. What this does is it creates this kind of creamy texture Provided it's not too wet, you'll get this really strong metallic finish. Now, if that kind of scares you, just go ahead and apply it as is. The reason I picked a flat brush instead of using my fingertips is that I can create kind of a soft cut crease. So a cut crease is basically creating a shape. It's kind of carving out the shape of the lid. And as you can see, this brush pretty much matches up with the shape of my lid. We apply that other shadow higher and kind of blend it upwards. We don't want to touch that. This is simply going to be applied on the lid itself, allowing that other shadow to do the rest of the work. So I'm using a pressing and a swiping motion, working across the lid only, 
And as you can see, it just hits the light beautifully. Now I like to kind of focus on the inner two thirds of the lid. I don't want too much shimmer on the outer third. I mostly want it to be in the center and the inner third. And that is all you have to do to create a really simple look. I finished off with some lashes and mascara and I really need to retire these lashes. I have used them far too many times at this stage. They're drooping just a little bit, which I'm not a big fan of, but there you go. That is the finished look really, really easy. I love when your eye turns to the side and you have that shimmer and it catches your own eye color and it just brings it out a little bit more. It's a really simple look that anybody can achieve. And if you are struggling with this and you're struggling with your eye shape, as always, I am here to help. So definitely leave a comment with any questions that you might have. It might get featured in a video that's coming up soon, or I might be able to just reply back to you and give you some guidance. You can also head over to my Instagram and I am kind of considering starting TikTok. So if you want, you can leave a message there and I can get back to you. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. You are doing the best you can. And I will see you in the next one.